All right, what is up, everybody? Shadow Scout is here, zero one three here, reporting in for another list build. This time, going over rebels and a few different like themed lists based on keywords in a way. And I kind of wanted to, you know, just play off those rather than serious competitive builds. I mean, you can probably do some stuff with these, but for the most part, they're probably going to just be really, really fun and really, hopefully, annoying to your opponent. <clears throat> so. Yeah, I hope everyone had a great holiday, great Thanksgiving, and I hope everyone was able to do what they can. I know I was super busy traveling and trying to spend time with as much family as possible, so I apologize for not coming out with one. But yeah, so that's where we are now. And if you haven't already, the first thing I'll go ahead and do is shout out the Discord. So if you haven't already, go ahead and head to the Discord, which is in the description down below. And feel free to, you know, if you have list building help, feel free to do it. Sometimes I'm I'm going back and forth, and this time of year is really, really busy, especially for personal training and for trying to get things ready for January. And I'll talk about that in just a second. So it I'm trying to kind of skim and see what people are doing. And if it's something that I can hopefully, you know, kind of chime in with, I will. But at least I'm paying attention to it, and I'm looking at what most of you, well, what all of you post, and I am... You know, loving the conversation and the fact that y'all are keeping up with everything. And I appreciate all of you guys for doing everything you can to help one another and to build lists and ask questions, which is what this Discord is really for. And I just kind of want it to hopefully be, you know, consistently encouraging and, you know, educational. So if you want, go ahead and join. You know, it'd be great to have a really nice big Discord and, yeah, continue to with all those goals. And like I said, I'm really busy. So, you know, I'm trying to do everything I can right now for the 12 week challenge that I have for everybody where you can either sign up to build muscle or lose weight. And there's a 12 week starting in January where, you know, I'm going to kind of tailor everybody, everybody's workouts towards them and their goals and try to help you achieve what you're trying to achieve and hopefully give you some healthy habits. And then also if you are wanting to, you know, for 15 bucks a month, you can subscribe to get the three, four, five, and six day week workout plans, corrective exercise, 30 minute torture plan, you know, abs and core, all the other stuff that comes with it, plus 120 recipes. So yeah, if you're interested for the new year and getting started and having a few different workouts to, you know, try and do what you can, you can still record all your progress and, you know, take your progress photos and connect it to my fitness pal. So yeah, if you're interested, go ahead and join up. So let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to come up with a list because danger sense is a really good word and there's a lot of it, believe it or not, and rebels. So I was like, huh, I wonder if I can make a list with as much danger sense as possible. It's because if you guys are unaware, you know, I'll go ahead and read you guys what that means. So danger sense, you may choose not to remove your suppression tokens. While defending against a ranged attack, you can roll an extra defense dice for each suppression you have, okay, adding up to whatever the danger sense is. So if Cassian has three suppression on him, whenever he gets shot at, he can choose to roll an extra three defense dice because that's how much suppression he has. Hopefully giving you the chance to block out some hits and even can help with Pierce if possible. So, because if you, you know, have Danger Sense 3 and you're rolling three extra defense dice and it's Pierce 1 and you roll two defense dice, then that's pretty fantastic. But I, you know, that's as far as I know. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, put it down in the comments below. But yeah, so with Cassian, you know, I decided to give him Hunter because of his sniper rifle and or because you want him to have as many aims as possible because of marksman situational awareness, because, you know, with K2, he's going to be able to, especially with teamwork. If K2 is in a certain range of casting, I think range one to two, they'll be able to share the green tokens that they give each other. So if K2 gives Cassian the calculate the odds. So if he's at range one in line of sight and he, he can give Cassian an aim, a dodge and suppression, and then K2 will also gain the aim and the dodge. Not the suppression, because it's only green tokens. And then I also decided to add Jin, and I've gone over Cassian just in case before. If you haven't already, you can go ahead and check out the unit breakdown that I did with him, covering out everything. But he's going to have Danger Sense 3, 
which is really nice because, you know, you're rolling an extra three defense dice. Jin has Danger Sense 4, so she's going to be able to choose to roll four extra defense dice whenever she's there's a ranged attack against her. She's going to have Infiltrate already built in, so you don't have to do Covert Ops. So she's going to stay your commander, meaning that you're going to keep Courage 3 whenever you're Infiltrated, which is really, really nice because, you know, with Danger Sense, everyone's going to have going to be able to take up to six suppression before they panic. <clears throat> They'll still be able to only have one action, but they won't panic, which is really, really nice with Jin Urso. So you kind of want to keep her alive as much as you can. So luckily she surges to defense and offense, especially surging to crit. She rolls naturally just in melee for black dice. You're going to have to upgrade her weapon config and give her something. So basically... <clears throat> You can give her this for free. It's a range 1 to 2 or range 1 to 3 weapon, and if you recover, you can flip it over. They're both Pierce 1, which is really, really nice, but at range 1 and 3, you'll have two black and a white. So this is just a really free gun. This is really, really nice. And then, you know, with Cassian, if you lay down his 3-pip where, you know, you can give it to... Let's go ahead and go down to it. If you were to give it to a commander, op, or special forces unit, that recovers. That unit recovers. So she could essentially recover and getting rid of all of the suppression that she has, which could be good for panicking reasons. But, you know, it might hurt for the danger sense. But you'd be able to flip over. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. You'd be able to flip over her config and, you know, flip it over to the... Two red and a white, range one to two, if you need it. Now, Cassian's also, he'll be able to recover. And if he recovers, he'll be able to get to his pistol config. I like kind of starting him in this and infiltrating him sometimes for the most part, because one, I already like having this and it's long shot. So if you, if he moves, because he has as far, sorry guys, I'm so sorry. Being on a laptop sometimes is super difficult. He's got tactical one. So after you perform a standard move, you're going to be able to gain an aim. So you'll already be able to get that aim for long shot. And then for that second action, you can go ahead and shoot and or, you know, use it for changing it into a hit or crit to get into cover just in case someone has cover because he doesn't have, he doesn't have sharpshooter. He's only got marksman and it is pierce. So you're going to hopefully try and use that aim, if not for range one to three, to hopefully get a crit. But he does naturally surge to hit so if you can get anything you can use that aim to really bust through and do what you need to to get that crit then i'm also bringing k2so with jen's blaster mostly because he's gonna have incognito so he can get in really really close but i really want for calculate the odds because he can basically give any trooper unit that's at range one an aim a dodge and a suppression and with the core units that we do have we've got rebel troopers we have the rebel trooper captain so the rebel trooper captain in case anyone does not know is you can add rebel trooper captain mini you're going to gain a training upgrade icon and then when you activate you cannot remove suppression tokens or be suppressed during this activation so you don't have to get suppressed if that's the case all you have to do is just kind of keep going and you get your two actions and not have to worry about suppression at all the, the entire round so that's kind of decent. And then situational awareness. So this is also going to make the core harder to kill because you have four units with situational awareness here and you've got two other units with situational awareness here. You know, the rebel troopers have nimble, so they'll be able to keep that dodge and keep continuing to use that to cancel crits if they need it. The pikes already have outmaneuver, as everybody knows. So they can, they have situational awareness basically built in, and they are going to have independent dodge, which gives them to the dodge anyway. Now, you don't have the capo as a commander slot, so you're still going to have to be very, very careful with these guys, but they both have the bike capo in them, giving them courage two. So your courage is increased by one, and you're going to gain a surge. So they're naturally going to be courage two anyway, which is pretty awesome. Then you have the Ripple Pathfinders here, who will be able to have courage two, and danger sense three while the pike foot soldiers have danger sense two so you've got let's see one two three four five six units with danger sense so over half of your army is 
going to be able to hopefully use the suppression to their advantage. And then I gave these guys duck and cover. Now, you don't have to. That's up to you. And then I gave a commando strike team just to kind of keep watch over the rebel pathfinders and or any lanes that you can. And then hopefully I have a rebel trooper in here with K2 that can hand out dodges as much as possible. Because obviously, like I said, the rebel troopers have nimble and situational awareness. So they're going to be able to use those dodges to their advantage. And or you can use the portable scanners to give the, the pike foot soldiers another dodge if you needed to one of them at least or the pathfinders or cassian or jen whatever you need and the fact that these this army is going to play pretty close because like i said you can infiltrate with cassian infiltrate with jen infiltrate with the rebel pathfinders infiltrate with yeah the second group so yeah, yeah yeah you've got four units that'll be able to infiltrate and another unit that'll be able to have scout two and get in close and then K2 is going to be able to be a detachment of Cassian to get in as well. So you'll have those three, four, five, six units basically up front and personal too. And then the Pikes and the Rebels will be able to do what they need to do. And you've got some range four guns here. You've got a range four gun, I think. Yep, right there. Another range four gun. You've got a range five gun. So this is all good long range. You know, Cassian can have a sniper. Jen's going to have a range 1 to 3, but if she's going to be that close, that's not bad. And then K2 is going to have a range 1 to 2 gun with 5 white searching to crit and pierce and suppressive. So again, I think this, this is worth it, and it's only 5 points because Jen is in here. Now, it is 800 points exactly, so you're not going to really have a bid, but in case you needed to, I've given you everything here, and I'll go over that in just a second, but let's go over the command cards. Rebellious, you know, is what one of them that I wanted to choose because it's gonna she's gonna gain charge and she needs to be in close with people, which you also kind of want to avoid, but because she does at least surge to crit and have four black dice naturally in melee, <clears throat> she's not the worst to get in if she needs to. But once per round, when an enemy unit at range one to two and in line of sight of Jen Urso activates, before it performs its rally step, Jen Urso may gain a suppression token to either perform an attack against that unit or perform a free move action, and maybe even get farther away from that unit. So there's lots. If she's in danger, I feel like this is also a really good one. Now, remember, she doesn't have cutting, so she's not going to be able to, be able to you know, if it's a tie, <clears throat> gain the advantage, but you'll have to roll for it. But yeah, I mean, it's good, especially to have. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. Crack shot, which allows Cassian to be able to have Gunslinger and, you know, give him an aim. And then at the end, he's going to gain a suppression and a standby. Very similar to Aiden. I just love Aiden more. Trust both goes both ways, which also really works well with veterans. If you were to give, you know, an order to the veteran unit, they gain a dodge. Then she'd immediately gain a dodge because of teamwork. And then maybe they go and they can gain another take an, an aim and a standby now she's not gonna be able to you know get that standby i don't think but that'd be fun or they can take a, a dodge and shoot and she'll gain an, a second dodge and they can shoot or they can take an aim she'll gain an aim like it, there's lots of things you can do but yeah she'll be able to go with teamwork and then also you might be able to teamwork with either cassian or k2 because then k2 will be able to either take an aim and a dodge, which Cassian will gain an aim and a dodge, which Jen Urso will gain an aim and a dodge. So it kind of runs a good line. Or maybe he uses Calculate the Odds to give Cassian whatever he needs to do, and then maybe another aim, which gives Cassian everything. And then if Jen Urso has teamwork with Cassian, after Cassian gains all of those, basically you're going to be able to gain all of those because of the teamwork. Like, let's read it real fast. Just to, you know, double check. Just in case you guys don't know, or you haven't really played with teamwork. So you're, while you're at range 1 to 2, uh, whatever unit that you have teamwork with, when you or your partner gains an aim or a dodge, the other unit is also going to gain the token of the same type. So basically, yeah, if Cassian gained any kind of tokens, Jen's going to gain the same. So it's a really good way to, you know, get things that she needs to with that two pit. And then last stand, that's just the main takeaway from that one. You know, when Cassian issues an order to a commander or an operative, that unit's going to gain indomitable, so they're going to be able to roll red dice whenever they are trying to rally, and they're going to gain an aim, a dodge, or suppression for each wound they have up to three. So if there's three wounds, then they can gain an aim, a dodge, 
in an expression or two aims and a dodge or two dodges and an aim, kind of whatever they need up to those three. And then complete the mission is really nice because Jen's going to gain low profile, basically hopefully giving her that, you know, cover three unless someone has sharpshooter. But then, yeah, but low profile is really, really nice. When a friendly trooper unit is issued an order, it can gain a suppression token. When a friendly trooper unit with a face up order token activates during its activation, it cannot become panic or suppressed, and at the end of its at the unit's activation, it may remove a suppression token. So it's basically just like your rebel trooper captain, but better. <clears throat> so you, re you really don't have to worry about suppression at all. And what could really be nice is hopefully this is somewhat of a counter to the blizzard force and how suppressive they are. So that's just a good thing to do. And then volunteer mission, <clears throat> like I did earlier. I'm very, very sorry, guys. Ugh. When Cassian Indoor issues an order to a commander, operative, or special forces unit, that unit is going to recover, and it's going to gain danger sense one and gain another suppression. So, you know, the amount of danger sense that they're going to have is insane. So hopefully you're going to be rolling like crazy and trying to save yourself but it you know it's just a, a simple little danger sense list intercept the transmissions recover their supplies hostage exchange and payload so i did intercept the transmissions because with infiltrate you're going to be able to get in hopefully oh, pretty easily and with recover the supplies again with infiltrate you're gonna do really well hostage exchange you can cut off any kind of routes you can route them you can do whatever you can with infiltrate and scout which is really really nice and then payload you're going to be able to hopefully survive for a long time with that suppression. And with Infiltrate, you're going to hopefully be able to kind of create havoc for the other person's payload and try to get close as possible and overwhelm your opponent for the most part. You've got 11 activations, and hopefully with at least the two units that can Infiltrate here versus, you know, Jin and Cassie and me being able to get in. You don't want to lose them too quick because you have their command cards, but you do kind of want to be able to use them as best you can. If you don't feel like having all of their command cards, then maybe take away one of them and put in like a, a normal one, but that's just up to you. It's just hard to do that with both of them. Now, Jen, it's, you're kind of hoping for her command cards, which is why I would say you don't want to necessarily cut them. It's hard, but you know, it's up to you. Long March I gave because you're going to be able to infiltrate and scout. So you're going to be really close already. Major offensive battle lines because with, this helps, I feel like, with infiltrate because it's going to spread everyone out. And if they, you know, clump up over here, you can infiltrate basically all behind. It, it's just really nice. And then advanced positions because basically your infiltrate units are also going to be able to gain scout one. So because during the deployment unit, or during the deployment step, each un trooper unit is going to gain scout one. <clears throat> so there you go. Even with infiltrate, they're going to gain that scout. And then clear conditions because you want to shoot. Limited visibility because possibly you want to get in as close as possible. So clear conditions also was because there's just really nothing else that I wanted. Supply drop would be really nice because infiltrate, you can get in. You can really, you know, use those supplies to your advantage. And then... Fortify positions, you can fortify your infiltrators. So, yeah, that's why I did those. Now, I did a 2.0, kind of with a little different stuff. So, Danger Sense works with suppression. So, I kind of wanted to do what I could for K2 and R2 with C3PO. So, I have all the droids, except for, you know, in here, and try to help each other. So, if K2 gets any wounds from using, you know, Jin's Blaster or whatever, he can help or vice versa but you do have k2 with calculate the odds and then you do have c3po with calculate the odds so you're always going to be able to give out those aims those dodges and a suppression and you can also do that on any of those rebel troopers the pikes or the rebel pathfinders which also left suppression so <clears throat> there's another way to dish out so many tokens especially to the rebel trooper rebel troopers here they all have a rebel captain this one's got a portable scanner so the ways to get dodges on here are insane and all of your core units all of them will have situational awareness and hopefully getting dodges like crazy because maybe r2 is going with rebel troopers continually giving them dodges and then keeping it with nimble 
and being able to cancel crits with it, you know, the pikes being able to cancel those, they're going to have courage too. And you do technically have a pike capo who will be able to do what he needs to with his pike foot soldiers. And I'll go ahead and kind of clump those together. In the Pathfinder, I just kind of got as basic as I can get them. And I, as basic as you can get them, again, is with their heavy, the config, and duck and cover. Because, again, they want that suppression. You know, I on R2, I gave him comms relay just in case because of his command cards. You want to kind of give it to someone else more than likely. So with blast off with that comms relay, you might be able to give it to Cassian and or K2. And then with the teamwork with those two, getting tokens onto Cassian early or K2, just it kind of depends. So there's lots of good ways to, to use that comms relay. And then here is a generic, you know, just in case. And then smoke screen I thought is really good because, you know, you don't have any low profile stuff on here, but you do have, like I said, a lot of danger sense with Cassian, with the Pathfinders and the Pikes. Hopefully being able to, you know, annoy your opponent with the amount of danger sense you've got. And then 798, again, you're really not going to be able to probably be the, the blue player, but if you wanted to, I'd probably go with the same ones as I did in the last list. But again, 11 activations, <clears throat> you're really going to have okay order control because of the fact that most of your units is at least two and then way more in the core there. This one's going to have a little bit harder of a time, hopefully getting that operative, unless you infiltrate with Cassian. But then you will only have one commander, so you're hopefully going to be searching for Jin a lot. So this one, Danger Sense 2.0, is going to give you a little bit better order control as well. Now, there's, this one's a little bit different. You can't touch this, can't dodge this. The order control, again, is going to be okay. And I wanted to use Lando because I haven't used Lando at all, I don't think. So there's probably more ways to be able to use Lando, and maybe at some point I'll kind of go over him, but I'm not the most in, enthralled with him. But this one is, you know, I wanted as much sharpshooter as I can, so there's basically no cover and or within. He doesn't necessarily have sharpshooter, but there's no way that you can dodge the Ambien rifle and or the Whistling Birds. So that's why I included him. Now, Boba Fett's got Sharpshooter 1, Alea has Sharpshooter 2, Lando has Sharpshooter 2. They all have Pierce. Din's going to be able to gain Pierce if he needs to, and or, like I said, you can't dodge the Amban rifle. So there's lots of things that you can use here to just chip away at your opponent. Like I said, he's going to have range 1 to 3, Pierce 1, with Sharpshooter 2, so no cover, whoever you shoot at. Same thing with Leia. Range 1 to 2, though, she surges to, to crit as well, and she's just rolling 3 black, but it's Pierce and Sharpshooter 2, so again, no cover. Boa Fett, you know, he's got the Sharpshooter 1. That's going to be really nice. He doesn't have a lot of other things other than just the his Carbine, Unless you give him the flame projector, which is finally going to make use a little bit more of that arsenal too right away. And then his command cards, his old command cards, are going to give him weapons as well that he can use. Which is probably why they didn't give him, you know, a third weapon. But it's really nice using the Imperial one because of all the weapons that you can get with him. But again, Sharpshooter 1, so Pierce. This is really, really nice to have. And then I've already kind of explained, Din, he doesn't have Sharpshooter at all, but you're not going to be able to block any of those. Now, with the Rebel Commandos, I did three strike teams because it is high velocity, so you can't literally dodge, can't spend dodge token, and it is Pierce. So, again, it it's going to take out the at least one of them. So you have those three, four, five, six, seven units that have Pierce, one, and... Three of them have high velocity. They can't dodge. You know, there's no cover, at least whenever you're shooting with Lando or Leia. There's no way anyone can dodge what's coming from Den. You know, Boba Fett's going to be able to have Sharpshooter 1, like I said. You know, I'm kind of repeating myself, but it, this is a really nice list to be able to just kind of chip away as much as possible. The medical droids are going to be able to hopefully keep everyone alive. And then there's even 
you know, the coordinated bombardment where you're going to have Leia and be able to shoot at the end of her turn three different units with two red dice. And for the most part, again, sharp shooter too, so no cover. And they're probably not going to have a dodge on them unless you're shooting at pikes. So I wouldn't waste it on them because, again, they're going to be able to use that. I'd use it, you know, for important units. So really, really nice. And the other reason why I had Lando is because of his contingencies. So obviously he's got contingency three. So I don't know if a lot of people know what contingencies mean, but whenever with con when building a command hand, you can set up aside up to three extra command cards. So whenever you decide to play maybe the, the ace up his sleeve and you said, but really I need the flamethrower, you'll have to play ace up his sleeve and then change it to flame projector. You don't just lay down flame projector and keep ace up his sleeve as an alternative because you're going to have to replace a two pip with a two pip, replace this one pip with a one pip, and then replace this three pip with one of the three pips that, he ha that you have. So it just kind of depends on what you want to bring in the contingencies, but it's really nice having three. And then Ace Up Receive is pretty nice because you can give it to Lando and one other unit. And when Lando issues an order to a unit, it's going to gain a dodge or a standby. And so both that's going to already have a standby as independent if you, because you're not going to be able to give it to him because you don't have the Allies of Convenience and you can't give it to Den anyway. So maybe giving it to Leia would be really, really nice so that you have your two commander tokens out already and then you only have to worry about operatives core and special forces and then there's two operatives in there so you're gonna be able to hopefully you know pick which one of these you want to go first already so that's really also nice with his two pip which is why i picked it but yeah that is mostly it guys i just kind of wanted to come out with a few rebel lists kind of i don't think i've done boba fett and or lando and rebels at all i know i've done a lot of Cal uh, cassian and whatnot and I just wanted to come out with something based off of, you know, certain keywords and certain elements. So don't expect this one to go too, too far in competitive, but I'm sure it's a lot of fun to play. I mean, double Boba and Din, and you're just using Lando and Leia to kind of chip away along with the Commando Strike teams to chip away because of their Sharpshooter 2 and Pierce. So... I'm getting a lot done with those guys. And then Leia is a good just support in general and can definitely give your Rebel Troopers what they need or whoever. But you've got 10 activations in this. They're mostly going to be heroes and snipers. But yeah, let me know which one you like the most. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Definitely, let's grow it. If you haven't already, go ahead and head to the Discord and sign up there. And then if you're getting ready for January and need some workouts, go ahead and head to theburnacademy.com. Otherwise, like I said, like this video, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I'm going to try to come out with a Callus video unit breakdown next, and then maybe some 1600 point lists like you guys are asking for. But I'll just keep coming out with more strategic things because that's kind of what I wanted this channel to be in the first place was you know, just come up with lists that I thought were fun, maybe talk about some strategies and give ideas to people who are just getting started and kind of help people who are just getting started with Legion and kind of how to build lists and or kind of what synchronizes and why. And if you guys like that, yeah, please subscribe. Definitely share if you want to. I never really ask for sharing because I, you're probably just only going to share this with friends who you either know kind of play these units or anything like that, but for the most part, I'm, you don't have to post this too much. And yeah, but I hope you guys are enjoying it and I will end it there. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video where I talk about Callus.